Sometimes you might want to add boxes or background color to parts of your document to highlight different sections, or even create a border around each page to jazz things up a little. It's super easy in Microsoft Word 2007 because a lot of design elements are built in. Let's start with adding a border around the whole page. First, you need to go to the top navigation and click on the tab for Page Layout. Then, go to the Page Background group and click the Page Borders icon. You'll see a box appear on your screen where you can select the different options for borders and shading. By default, we're already in the section for page borders, so let's take a look at what we've got. On the left, you can choose what style border you would like, or changing the color, and then you can see a preview on the right. So let's add a decorative border around the page. I'm going to choose the simple box style on the left. Then here in the middle, I'll choose the line style I like. Let's thicken up that line a little bit. We can also change the color or add some art, but I'm going to leave it at this for now. So click OK, and there's our page border. Looks great, but it might be overkill for this document. If that's the case, I can just go back into the section on page borders here in the top navigation, and to get rid of the border, just click on the None option in the left column for Settings, and click OK. There, border gone. That's how you create a border around the page, but what if you just want to highlight a piece of text? One way you can do that is to select the text you want to call attention to and add a border around it. We're actually going to do that in the same section as the page borders. But this time, when you see the pop-up box, click on the tab for Borders. We've got the same options here to choose our border style, the line style, color, width, and all that jazz. Then over here on the right, you're going to choose whether you want your border around each line of text or around the whole paragraph. I want to do the paragraph, and then click OK. There is our gorgeous border. Now let's go into the Page Borders menu one more time and add some shading inside the border we created to really give the text some oomph. We're back in the Borders and Shading box, and we're going to click the tab for Shading. If you open the pull-down menu for Fill, you'll see a rainbow of colors to choose from. I'm just going to use a light blue, make sure I'm applying it to the whole paragraph, and then click OK. Go ahead and experiment with the different tools for adding boxes, borders, and shading to see how you can dress up your document. There's plenty you can do, even without adding pictures.